today, William, we're gonna try and determine why cells are so small. So what we've done is we've cut three cubes in a small, medium, and large variety, if you will, and we've soaked them in this blue dye, which is called methylene blue. And what we should see is a difference in how far the blue dye has gone into the potato. The potatoes are supposed to represent cells. Now, why are cells so small? You're made of them, I'm made of them, but we can't see them. They're tiny, right? Because they need things on the inside and they don't have structures like our lungs to breathe gas in or a mouth to drink in water. Things just come in and out through a process called diffusion. So what we should see is that the smallest one of these potatoes has absorbed more of the blue dye than the other two potatoes and we can quantify that by measuring how far the blue dye has traveled in. And don't forget, while you're in the lab, you definitely need your eye protection because you never know when your scalpel's gonna fly across the room. Ah! All right, cool. So we'll remove our potatoes from the dye and we'll place them just on this paper towel here. And you can see they're small, medium, and large. And we did the best we could to rotate our potatoes, our cells, in the Petri dish. So natural selection has decided over time by selecting for the smaller cell size because diffusion happens at a faster rate. So if we slice them open carefully so I don't lose a finger, the further we move up in potato size or cell size, we should see that the rate of diffusion or amount of diffusion decreased each step up. <laughs> so, if you look closely here, you can see the smallest potato is almost completely blue through and through. So if we put our ruler on the centimeter side, the metric side, to our smallest potato cube, it's 0.5 centimeters or five millimeters across. We can see that it's diffused all the way through. As we move to the next larger one, the medium sized potato, we can kind of see some white in the center. So we would measure that the diffusion rate didn't quite happen as fast. And we go up to our two centimeter potato here, our two centimeter cell, you can clearly see plenty of white in the center, which is where the dye did not diffuse in, which should explain to you why cells are small. The smaller you are, the faster materials can diffuse into your center. What do you need? You need water, because cells are mostly water, and you need oxygen for processes like cellular respiration.